Hey guys, it's Jax here, the Average Diffs Golfer. I'm out at Veterans Field today. I'm gonna do some field work, and I figured I'd do a what's in my bag, so. Hey, hey I'm Jax, the Average Diffs Golfer, and here's what's in my bag. For putters, I just switched to a Pure. Um, I really liked my approach uh, Pure, so I went and got myself the retro plastic, and um, so far so good, I really like it. Um, I found that my Challenger SS kept getting stuck to my fingers, it was really gummy. And now that we're in the summer here in North Carolina, it gets a little humid. Um, so I switched to the Pure, and so far so good, actually, I really improved with my putting. Hey guys, so I throw at a lot of shorter courses, so I actually use my approach putters quite a bit. Um, I throw, uh, my overstable is a harp, and my understable is a pure, um, and I usually throw a comet for the straight ahead, real straight ones. Um, okay, so for mid-ranges, um, I throw a buzz that pretty much handles a lot of my business, um, so this will fly about as straight, and then it'll dump left. Um, so you can use it on approaches as well if you have a little more distance. So anything about 150 or so, I'm um, bringing out the buzz. Um, which is also true for the Comet. Uh, the Comet is just a reliable disc and I can get it to go wherever I want um, and it'll stay on that line. So wherever you get it going, it's going to stay on that line. The Comet's great for in the woods where you don't want to have a disc really do much. You just want it to go straight. <laughs> so there's the Comet. Um, the Fuse is new to my bag. Uh, this is for turnovers to the right. Uh, it's a mid-range. So uh, like hole one shorts from the castle, Fuse is your buddy. Um, and then the final one I just picked up is a compass. Um, I really don't know much about it yet. It's a speed five, glide five, turnover zero, fade one. So pretty similar to the buzz, a little less uh, fade at the end. Um, so I'm going to give each of these a whirl and uh, we'll see how it goes. So here's the compass. Here's the buzz in flight. Okay, here we go with the fuse. So this is gonna go to the right, okay? Okay, and then Old Faithful the Comet. Um, so I'm gonna just put this on a little bit of an ante and you'll see it'll um, just kind of hold its line for a bit before it fades back. There you go, see it holds its line forever and ever and ever. Now I'm gonna be honest, some of these drivers I don't really throw that much. So my T-Bird, this is my old faithful. This is my baby girl. Um, it's super domey, which a lot of people don't have in their T-Birds. Um, so I I like what it does, but apparently the, if I bought a new T-Bird today, it would not do what I wanted it to do. Um, so this I usually throw on an S-curve. This one comes back real hard left. So um, I usually put it on a big old turnover and then let it fight its way back. Now, next up I have two rivers. Um, they do completely different things. So um, this river is one that we had like hanging on our wall and my husband was like, you would really like the river. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Um, but this is pretty much what I use to drive most of the time off the tee pad. Um, this one right here, I don't even know what plastic it is or anything about it. Um, I didn't even know it was a river. So um, this guy I can make go as straight as possible with like just a little skip skip at the end. So I usually put this on a pretty hard turnover as well to let it fight straight um, so it's not turning back too far. Whereas this river is flippy as all get out. So um, I will show you the difference between the two. See how straight it stays? Yeah, with barely anything. Now, I'll try to release this one the exact same way, but it's going to do a lot different. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but it usually dives a little bit harder left at the end. But that was actually beautiful. Okay, so I also carry around a leopard. Um, you know what, I haven't really mastered this yet, but this thing can skip like all get out. So if I ever, um, I'm trying to go around a corner really hard and I 
want it to hit the ground low and skip, 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 I always throw the leopard. But off the tee pad, it's not really my jam. It's a little slow for me, I think. It's a six. Um, so we'll give this guy a whirl. Again, it comes back really hard. So um, we'll see what happens. Oh, in the soccer net. Guess we will find out how that ends. Okay, and the last driver that I've been getting used to is an Essence. I actually really started to like it. I'm not sure the weight on it. Um, I think it's a little heavy for me. If I had a lighter one, I think I might like it a little bit better. Um, it was my it's my husband's disc. I'm pretty much breaking it in for him. Um, this is an eight speed, which seems to be where I like to be for drivers. Um, so let's see what she does. All right, and that's what's in my bag.